In this video, I want to show you a magic indicator on TradingView that helps you to easily identify trends in the market. To add this wonderful indicator to our chart, here we click on indicators and we search Andion Oscillator, this one which is an editor specs indicator and it's written by Alex Grover. All right, this is the indicator and as you can see, it's added here below the chart. This indicator measures the degree of variations of uptrends and downtrends. So it helps us with identifying direction of the market and also evaluating the strength or weakness of trends. We have three lines here. The green line is the bull component of the indicator. The red line is the bear component of the indicator and the orange line is signal line, which uh, by default, it's a moving average with length of 9 for the result of this parameter here for this which uh, the length is set at 50 it's actually used to determine the trends degree of variations which is calculated based on exponential envelopes and standard deviation i don't get into more details regarding the calculations you can check the page of this indicator on trading view the author has explained all the details the code is also available there so you can more investigate if you're familiar with pine scripting the default settings work very well so we don't change anything for this video Video. but depending on the trading strategy that you're using you may need to change the settings so this indicator will better match with other indicators in your trading strategy all right as i said the green line is the bull component of this indicator so when the green line is rising it shows that we have bullish price variations and when the red line is rising which is the bearish component of this indicator it shows that we have bearish price variations so as you probably guessed by now when the green line is over the red line the market is in an uptrend and you can expect new higher highs and on the other hand when the red line is over the green line the market is in a downtrend and you can expect new lower lows so crossover of red line and green line can provide signals on the reversal points of the market which we can conclude that a new trend is forming but this is not enough and many of the times we have these crossovers in the pullbacks for example here you can see that the green line crossed over the red line and is truly showing starting of of an uptrend moving on the chart here the red line crossed over the green line but it wasn't starting point of downtrend and you can see that it was just a pullback within this uptrend and again here the green line crossed over the red line to have advancing of the price in the current uptrend of the market to avoid these uh, misleading crossover signals we can use this orange line which is actually the signal line in this indicator as i explained earlier the orange line helps us with more interpretation of this indicator to filter out the false signals that are given by crossover of red line and green line by doing so a trend is confirmed when the red line or green line crosses over the signal line for example here after the green line crossed over the red line it's also crossed over the orange line so the uptrend is confirmed but here after the red line crossed over the green line it couldn't cross over the orange line so downtrend is not confirmed here and you can see that it was truly just a pullback and here again the green line crossed over the red line and orange line showing starting of another course of advancing within this uptrend we have similar situations in downtrends here you can see that the red line crossed over the green line and then it also crossed over the orange line which confirms a downtrend moving on the chart here the green line crossed over the red line but it couldn't cross over the orange line so no uptrend is confirmed here and it was truly just a pullback after that again the red line crossed over the green line and then crossed over the orange line showing starting of another course of declining after this deep pullback that caused to have the green line over the red line the price decline up to this point and in this area which is actually the reversal point of the market at first we had a bullish crossover here at this point but the green line couldn't pass the orange line and then after this here again another bullish crossover and this time it could successfully cross over the orange line which confirms formation of an uptrend in the market one important point that you must pay attention here is that that when none of the red line and green line are above the signal line like this part it can show a flat market or an extended pullback like this part and sometimes when the red line or green line crosses over the signal line and still barely above the orange line this could also happen in choppy market and you may also see this in the pullbacks with larger swings so it's a good idea to wait until the line is clearly above the signal line so you can be sure that a trend is established in the market you can use this indicator 
indicator on any time frame even very short time frames like one minute and five minutes for scalping and you just need to pay attention to the points that i explain in this video so you can effectively identify trends in the market all right that's it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to ask and leave a comment for me i'll answer your questions as soon as possible if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new video see you guys in next video and good luck with your trading